More an exhibit that stands out in the crowd, not unlike the museum's security guards who curated it. Christine Johnson shows us around. Tracy Archibald Frederick and Chris Koo have been security guards at the Baltimore Museum of Art for years. You've pretty much walked every hall in this museum? Every hall, all behind the scenes, everywhere, yes. But during that time, they say most visitors just see their uniforms, not necessarily the person wearing it. I think some visitors just don't even know we exist, to be honest. <laughs> a lot of us hope that more visitors will ask us and have conversations with us about the art rather than asking us where the bathroom is. It's like we are kind of the shadows of the museum. Ku hopes that's about to change, thanks to an exhibit opening today. The show, called Guarding the Art, was organized not by the museum's curators, but its very own security guards. First, I was like, what? <laughs> Us? When you're approached to say, we want you to help curate this exhibit, did you think to yourself, I'm not qualified to do that? Right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because there's a clear separation of every other department and museum versus security. So we were very intimidated at, at first. But look where we are at now. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, getting to where they are now took months of preparation. The team oversaw every detail along the way, from the wall color to the works of art. Each participant selected pieces from the museum's permanent collection that spoke to them personally. Black over reds. Ku chose paintings by Philip Guston and Mark Rothko. They kind of affects you in a really deep emotional way and I wanted to see how other visitors would react to that. So now that it's up on the wall, this is still the one that you wanted up here. No regrets, right? No regrets, no regrets. I'm very proud of this piece, as if I did it myself. Archibald Frederick selected a more contemporary piece, Micheline Thomas's Resist Number no. 2, a collage of racial protests. There's so much going on in the world, in this country, as far as all the turmoil and social injustice, that this is speaking to everything that I wanted to say. Guards spend more time with the art than anyone in the museum. They're around it day and night, looking at it, observing it. Board of Trustee member Amy Elias came up with the idea for the exhibit, along with the museum's head curator, Asma Naeem. It's a simple idea, but it's asking profound questions. Who is art for? What are museums for? Who gets to talk about art? This show overall is telegraphing to the public. Art is for everyone. A reminder to museum goers everywhere that if you have questions about art, look no further than the person standing next to it. And for other visitors who come here, now that we've, we've done this, they will see us totally in a different light you're no longer a shadow? No. No longer. No longer. No longer. The CBS Weekend News streams after a break. I'm Allie Bauman. You're streaming CBS News. CBS News, always on. Breaking news. 